part two, here it goes again. This is what the fan sounds like. It only does it for about a few seconds, so yeah. It's got two bars on that. It kicks on for about a few seconds and it cuts off. So I haven't got an overheating warning yet at the moment. It's still at three bars. This is part two. And uh, yeah. It has not kicked in often enough, so it's doing pretty good so far now. I got other, I mean, two other ones to charge. Oh, the charger, this part right here is getting really hot. Of course, this will be laid down, which is bad. Um, oh, let me move this right here. Um, yeah. I'm not charging this because it will go over the, this thing is a 351 hours. This right here is a, um, 172 one hours. This one is, um, 180 watt hours. And this one will be 90 watt hours. So, if you do the math, it will go over for this thing, and this thing will be dead. So, yeah. I would need the, the 666 watt hours, uh, all powers, portable power station to charge all three of these batteries. And plus, it'll be easy to charge charge it. But I'm good with the 372 watt hours, because the, the, the 80 volt is, you know, expensive. And plus, I'm not using this thing often enough. So... Good enough, so to charge and do it with the 40 watt hours. I know 40 volt ones. So yeah, this this is the first time I heard the fan kick in on this thing. So this is, was part two of the Pro Genie 351 hours portable power, power station. It may have one of those tiny fans inside, so it hasn't gotten hot yet at the moment. So it may have kicked in a few times and then stop. So. About like few, a few seconds and then stop. So, yeah. So, end of recording now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.